for those who don't know what peer review is, basically you write a paper, you send it off to a journal, or increasingly, and this will be part of the resolution of the rant, I hope, increasingly you just submit it to a, to a server where it's available online even before peer review. But traditionally, take the paper, send it off to a journal. The journal's editors, first of all, consider is that paper worthy for this journal? If it is, they send it out for peer review. Who do they send it to? They send it to your peers. Now the difficulty is, so your peers mean people in the field, hopefully experts in your field, hopefully people who you would think could do a very good job at um, looking through your paper, criticising it, critiquing it, coming back with generally I must admit, in my case, generally constructive criticism. There are very few cases I can point to um, where a paper, in our case, hasn't been improved by peer review. And of course you get angry and you go, oh, what, this reviewer news not, knows nothing. But actually, when, in the cold light of day, which is difficult for me, and one of the reasons I don't have a Twitter account, um, in the cold light of day, when you stand back, you realise, actually, they may have a point here, so let's think about doing this. So, peer review, in that sense, that's the good things about peer review. So this entire process is anonymous. The traditional peer review process is anonymous. So often, yes, there is the very strong possibility that when your paper goes out, that it goes to somebody you know. And most times, people keep that information confidential, but certainly sometimes I've had people come up to me and go, well, I reviewed your, 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 your paper some time ago. And that's an interesting sociological um, quandary to be in because obviously if, so if you get a favourable review from somebody and they've told you they've given you a favourable review, you're almost biased if you get their paper to review. So there's a, you know, there are issues there. The vast majority of the time, I must say those are rare occasions, the vast majority of the time is you do the review and it's entirely anonymous. I know science is very collaborative, but there is an element of competition in it for some people. Do you ever worry that someone's going to try and nobble your paper? That's a, a, very many people worry about that. I'm, I'm less concerned about that, I must admit. I've certainly not really had any experience of that in the sort of 120, 130 odd papers. Um, but uh, the, the journal guidelines, when, which they send to referees, specifically mention this. And in, though there are strong ethical guidelines. Whether those are always followed, I don't know. And certainly there are some, you know, scientists are human and um, some are more human than others. <laughs> That's the good aspects of peer review. It should work to sift out problems with the interpretation, problems with the results. It should work to improve a paper. The problem is the number of papers goes up and up and up, the number of scientists go, goes up and up, and the number of journals goes up and up. There's a huge volume of stuff and we are increasingly getting swamped. Now, I, I came across this um, relatively recently, but it's from the middle of last year. This is one of the worst examples Examples of where peer review has entirely failed. So, what are, what are we looking at? We're looking at a transmission electron microscope image of gold nano rods. So you see these rods, which are about, you can see from the scale bar here, 50 or 60 nanometers long. And they've basically been synthesized in solution and they've been put onto a surface. And you get these structures forming. And the authors, because of course if you want to get a paper into a uh, high profile journal you need a snappy title, so they termed this or coined the term nano chopsticks. There's too much nano out there, so um, nano chopsticks in this case refers to, well you can see that there's a very well defined angle. And for me, sort of when I look at that image I go, wow that's that's mad, that's really strange. Why would, why would they do that? Why when you deposit them from solution and all the different types of dynamics that goes onto solution and the drying of the solvent, why the hell would they do that? Why would you get these very well defined angles? And then you zoom in. Well, we zoom in after the event. This was caught by this, this wonderful blog, blog Kembark, but was missed by the reviewers. All right, do you see anything suspicious there, Brady? <laughs> I mean, I'm not brilliant at Photoshop. <laughs> and neither am I, but, but for Zarquan's sake, that is just taking the, um, the excretory fluid, isn't it? It's beyond a joke. How the hell did that get through peer review? If you get an image like this, this top one, and you see that, the first thing you do is... <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's the, terrible. It's, it's, it is. We laugh about it, but you know, this is hundreds of thousands of pounds of taxpayers' money in many cases going to fund this type of research. And this damages confidence right across the board in, in science. This is not some very poor quality journal at the bottom. This is one of the top 
you know, the top ranking journals in the field. And, you know, you can make the argument, well, you know, the, the referees can't be expected to, to you know, to, to catch everything. And if you're one of those referees, I'm sorry, and I, I, I appreciate that you've got, you know, large workloads. We all have large workloads. But, 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 you sent a paper which is related to how um, rods interact and form these structures. The first thing you as a referee, or the first thing I think anybody in this field would do, would go, well that's really interesting, what the hell's happening, on it, happening at the apex? And then you'd go looking for high resolution images, and then you'd find this in the supplementary information. They, they, what? They overlap. They cut it out, the background doesn't look the same. You can see this little nudge here is you know a feature that's repeated because they've, they've used the same image and just rotated. My 10 year old daughter said, Daddy, why didn't they cut it out correctly? And the, here's the really troublesome aspect. Here's the really... <laughs> oh, they're on to you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it. I take it all back. This is the lawyers. <laughs> Hello.